Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Thanks for the regards from uh, everyone who saw my previous video. And I wish everybody is coping well at home. Cause I certain that it is not easy with the children home based learning and to work at home at the same time. But we have to stay safe at this moment. Especially things are getting more crucial for our local cases nowadays. So besides stay at home, government also make it compulsory for us to wear a mask whenever we leave our home. Only children below the age of two will need not to wear a mask. So if you are going out to get your food or your essential, please take note of these new measure changes. So from the previous video mentioned that our company have conducted online series about property, and actually I had quite a number of uh, people sign up for the previous seminar, probably is due to it is an online platform which is easily accessible through from home. Unlike in the past, you will need to be physically travel down to a location to attend the session. So I feel that technology somehow have made life easier for us, especially during this situation right now. So from what I can see from here, there are already five sessions lined up for this week alone. Some may have already been conducted by the time you watch this video. So please do check with me the dates and times again. And if you if you keen to learn more, please PM me so I can help to register a ticket for you. Our company will be conducting this online series throughout this circuit breaker period. So back to how to use the app Zoom, Adobe Field and Sign and Cam Scanner during this COVID-19 circuit breaker. First of all, why am I covering this topic? And it is not related to property. Well, you already know, we no longer able to meet up or to do documentation face to face. So some documentation work are facing difficulties right now, especially for those who might need to meet up with their bankers or lawyers or even submitting work assignment to the company or even to school, etc. Therefore, signing legal documents, contract or bank letters may become a problem. And that is why I'm doing this video. Hopefully, it can help people to ease some situation by using this mobile set to fill in forms and sign the legal documents or agreement remotely. And also able to do a video conference witnessing signing of contract or meeting out with multiple friends or customer at the same time. So I believe this will greatly help anyone who can do it without meeting up during this period. So now, let me quickly run through this app and also welcome anyone who have other recommendations. Please comment below. I will greatly appreciate that so we can help one another during this day. So for using Zoom, I noticed that uh, those who have children and are in a home-based learning, most likely you are already familiar with using Zoom meeting because the school are still using it even though after what has happened from the recent incident. But I think they already sorted it out and the school are using it so far. So if you need to download the, the app, from your App Store if you are using Apple or Google Play Store if you are using Android. I will put the download link at the video description below so you can download from there as well. So let me switch to my phone screen now. So you download the Zoom app so you can click open it. Click on the app itself and you will prompt to a page. For my this case itself, I already have created an account in Zoom uh, using my Gmail account. So from here, there is four options on the top, new meeting, join, schedule, or share screen. So I will touch on new meeting and join. So you click on the new meeting, you will pop up from here. Uh, you can actually have the option to choose to turn on your video, which is a selfie, and you can just start a meeting. Once the meeting was created, you have the option to press to mute or unmute yourself or start the video for the meeting and uh, or invite others invite your contact to join this meeting invite the participants here so i click on the participants 
After you click on the participant, you come to this page. At the bottom, you can click invite. So another page will actually pop up here and you can select Gmail. Then they will auto generate you an email to send to your invitees with the Zoom meeting link and the meeting ID and the password itself. So this is how you can create a meeting remotely online and invite your friends or your customer to join the meeting. So now I like to touch on, on the join. So you click on the join icon. From here you can choose to turn on your audio or turn off your video. Your video will be your selfie. And then once you uh, click on the meeting ID, you can actually key in the meeting ID that was sent to you by your invitees. So example here, okay. And you can click on the join meeting. So that is how you conduct a Zoom meeting with your friends or clients all at the same time. Go try it out. So next, we touch on, on uh, Adobe Fill and Sign. Likewise, you have to download the app. I will switch to my phone screen again. So after you download the Adobe Fill and Sign, open up the app. You will prompt to the main page uh, to select a form to fill up. Click on it. It will pop out three options for you. You can choose either from your PDF file, from your photo library, or even take a picture through your mobile camera. So for my this case itself, I already have a form saved in this app. So I will just open up. So it will pop up this form. This form is actually widely used uh, in our real estate work. So from here, I can enlarge the form. And I actually tap on the empty space here. It will pop up a text box. And I actually can type, hi. How are you? Okay. So this is how you actually can fill in the documents with the uh, remotely here. So after that, you can actually go to the top panel here, the icon. There's a signature. Click on it. And you can see there's two options, create signature and create initial. It's actually the same. So click on the create signature. It will prompt you to another page. You can actually sign remotely here. After you sign, you press done. You will actually create your signature and you press back the icon. You will see your signature was being done. And you press on it, it will pop out into the document itself. After that, you can actually shift your signature here and there to locate the signature that you want to be. And you can adjust the size as well. So you can just place it here. So, and it's done. So after you fill up your, your form and you actually can go to the top panel here is the share button press on it and you can actually share through your whatsapp and email to another party so this is how you edit and filling up or sign the form of the documents that you need to do remotely during this time and the final app we are going to touch on will be the cam scanner this app allow, uh, allow us uh, to scan your documents remotely Example like scanning your child worksheet, your uh, work assignment, or legal agreement, etc. It allows us to save and send through your email and WhatsApp to them. So let's get back to my phone screen again. So if, after you download the cam scanner, click on the app to open up. And uh, after opening up, you can see there's an icon at the bottom, a camera shape. Just press on it. Straight away, you will come to a camera. So after this, you actually take a screenshot of it. Okay. After taking a screenshot, you actually can make some adjustment here of this picture. After you adjust already, you click next. Then there's a lot of filter that you can choose from, from original, magic color, gray. So from here, I actually choose magic color and I click OK to the next one so after next one if it's a document right I actually can take another screenshot again so uh, if let's say the document have multiple page I will just need to click on this camera logo again it open up so I just take another page from here so I take so after I take ready I make some adjustment to it okay and I click next 
Same thing here, I select the filter as magic color. So it will have two pages over here. After that, I can actually have the option to rename this file. So click on the top right hand. So over here, I select rename. I can change the file name. I can change to uh, Barney book. So after you name it already, right, you can click on the share icon from the top, click on it, and you can share with PDF. So after you share with PDF, you will have this page pop up with these two pages and click on share. After click on share, you actually can send it through WhatsApp or even email, Gmail. So that's all about the mobile apps tutorial. Hopefully it come in handy and useful for you and your workflow during this time. And thank you for watching so long. <laughs> Trying to be not too long winded for the video. And hopefully it's useful for you. So I hope you will like this video. And please give a thumbs up if you like the video. It will really help in terms of uh, algorithm. And share to uh, these videos to anyone who you feel that is useful to them. So this come to the end of my video. If you have thoughts and would like to share, please comment below. I will greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. As always, stay safe. Take care.